I hope you are feeling better after taking the medicine, little kitty. Little better. Don't worry. As the medicine starts to work its wonders in your body, you'll be back to normal again. How? Let me explain that by answering a bittersweet question. How does your body process medicine? Zoom in. Medicines are like your own personal army, fighting off invaders like germs and boo-boos to help you feel better and get back to having fun. But have you ever wondered how these magical potions work their wonders inside your body? And more importantly, how do these pills know exactly where the issue is and how to cure it? Well, let's assume someone has a headache and decides to take a painkiller for it. As you swallow a pill, it travels down your esophagus and into your stomach where acid and enzymes begin to break down the tablet. However, not all medicines will get dissolved as some are specifically formulated to bypass the stomach and move forward into the small intestine where they dissolve for better absorption through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. After absorption into the bloodstream, the drug travels to the liver where some of the drug molecules are turned into inactive substances called metabolites, which are eventually eliminated from the body. The remaining active drug molecules enter the circulatory system, which functions as a looped roller coaster track, distributing the drug molecules to various tissues and organs, including the brain, heart and kidneys, and bringing them back to the liver for further processing. Now, during this journey, the medicinal molecules of certain painkillers identify a spot where the pain receptors are most active and bind to them, blocking the production of compounds responsible for sending pain signals. As more pill molecules accumulate at that spot, the painful effect starts to diminish, reaching a minimum or no pain within the next one to two hours, eventually providing relief. After this, your body starts removing these drug molecules as they become detached from the targeted spot and re-enter the bloodstream to return to the liver, where some of these molecules once again become inactive metabolites. These metabolites are then primarily eliminated from the body through the kidneys, where they are excreted in urine. However, Drug elimination is not solely limited to the kidneys. Some drugs may also be eliminated through other routes such as sweat, saliva and feces. Though this basic process is the same for most medicines, the effectiveness will depend on the type of drug, the method of administration, your existing health condition, age and genetics. Hence, it is crucial to take correct dosage of medicine to prevent any complications as too little won't work while too much can lead to toxicity. So, always remember to take medicines under the guidance of healthcare professionals like doctors or pharmacists who are experts in their field and can ensure safe and effective treatment. Or, it's best to always stay fit by eating well, exercising regularly and making sure to take breaks and play outside too. Trivia time! Did you know the first synthetic pharmaceutical aspirin was introduced in 1897? Yes, and the antibiotic called penicillin was discovered by Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming in 1928. To learn more about the amazing story behind it, please check out our video, The Discovery of Antibiotics. The link is in the description below. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Rana Vinu. 
Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Hey, little kitty, I've informed your school teacher that you won't be coming today due to illness. Never mind.